Now, host communities of oil and gas companies have been taxed to bring long-term abuse and neglect in the Niger Delta to an end through sustained environmental monitoring and advocacy. Executive Director of Health and Mother Earth Foundation, HOMEF, Nemo Basi, urged the communities to ensure that economic interests of investors did not threaten the environment. He stressed the need to raise community activists who will defend the ecosystem from degradation and pollution. Due to severe devastation of the ecosystem and the effect on people of oil producing communities in River State, the Health of Mother Earth Foundation, Home Earth, is championing advocacy against environmental pollution in the Niger Delta. In that capacity, Home Earth brought together people from Kedere, Po, Goy, and Moho communities in the state to share information on the usefulness of community monitoring, organizing, and advocacy. During his address to the participants, the director of Home F, Lin Mo Basi, stressed the need to protect the environment from further pollution. He said the aim is to empower community members to be ready to hold environmental destroyers accountable for any damage done. So this training is meant to equip the community people, not just to see things and walk away, but when they see things, they will take note. They are to become citizen journalists. To, to report on what is going on in their communities. We also train them on community organizing and solidarity building. We're introducing, introducing them to continental networks of fishers because these are people who used to fish but can't fish anymore. Home F project lead on networking and alliances, Stephen Oduwari, urged the people to learn to task political leaders who approached them for votes to begin to take issues of environmental pollution seriously. Some community members share their experiences on what they suffer from the destroyed environment and loss of means of livelihoods. Let us tell them it is enough of all this nonsense and then we'll be able to adequately sit down and engage them so that we know what their practice is going to cause to our environment we know what is going to cause to our health. We know the benefits for our future generation. And then at the end of the day, we will not have cause to blame ourselves and blame our God. She will plant cassava without fertilizer and it will do well. We didn't know anything about the, the, something to use chemicals like fertilizer to use for planting before making it do well. Today, if you plant yam or cassava and you don't add fertilizer and other chemicals to make it do well, you don't get anything out of it. That is to say that the land is no longer fertile. All our aquatic life has been destroyed just the environmental system of shame. And uh, if you go to clinic, even as I tell you, to camp is very, very crucial. The major sickness you see is typhoid, you talk of malaria, you talk of kidney problem, you talk of liver problem, all is as a result of oil pollution. Correspondents recalled that Kediri community with about 54 oil wells had a major oil spill on the 12th of April 2009 when fire from Bomo Manifold burned and spread to neighboring Goy and Moho communities, which destroyed people's means of livelihoods.